So, I just received the Gecko Tech build plates. Um, I am a early bird Kickstarter backer, and I just received this on a Saturday, so I was lucky enough to run to my office to get it. So, this is just going to be a quick unboxing. A lot lighter than I thought. So just this is the price. Uh, I had I had purchased the the magnetic base uh, combo as well as the early bird price for the uh, build plate uh, for just an extra build plate. And these are for the HT versions. Uh, HT versions mean they will be compatible with ABS uh, as well as supposedly it should work with PLA. So this is instructions on how to attach it. Okay. Um, there's a date. I don't get that there's a date, but I guess to determine uh, which batch, I guess, they're from. I hope there's instructions on how I should properly clean this if I'm supposed to use isopropyl or something else or just water. So I ordered two, so I assume the bottom one. Okay. And there's another date on this one. I wonder if it makes a difference which one's the top and which one's the bottom. Oh, I assume that the writing should be the bottom. So it looks like that there is a, uh, a sheen or something where you can tell it's coded on the top. But because on the bottom is uh, metallic, uh, it's just metal, just glossy. So I assume this is kind of, uh, not sticky, but then it's definitely, okay. That one aside. And I guess, and this is the magnetic base. Okay, so yeah, I guess they protected it by putting it like that. So the magnetic base would go on to my printer printing something. It should just go on just like that. Um, they didn't include, it seems like, any screws and I had wished they would have stated that I need longer screws. Hopefully I do have long enough screws. Yeah, I do. These are, I believe, 15 millimeters screws. Probably going to use like 10 millimeter ones. It should be good enough. Looks like it matches up okay with uh, the MK2 uh, rip wrap base. Um, part removal. RT build plate. Okay, well, this build plate user guide says HT, but then they list the RT here. So I guess there, there's just issues with their paperwork, but okay. So I'll do another review after I start, after I mount this and start uh, printing stuff on this. Hopefully this build plate will be perfect and I, I don't have to worry about using any more hairspray or anything on my printer. And I'm mounting this on a coastal clear. Okay.